Snap-on's torque training series, Digital Torque Tester. Today's video covers the proper use of Snap-on's digital torque tester called DTT. With its large full-color touchscreen, the DTT is easy to set up and use. It's a highly accurate digital torque tester that's perfect for periodically verifying the accuracy of your click wrenches, dial wrenches, and digital torque wrenches. The DTT can also be used for training in the proper use of click type torque wrenches. The DTT is a precision instrument for checking torque wrench accuracy. If the torque wrench is out of tolerance, it should be sent to a qualified calibration lab. Mount the DTT on a sturdy wall such as concrete or on a steel beam. Do not mount on unsupported drywall. For ease of use, mount the tester with the socket approximately waist high to the user. Snap-on also has a bench top mounting bracket available for the DTT part number 2344-0050-03. The DTT comes with an AC power cord and you may install batteries to use as backup power. To install the batteries, use a small number one Phillips screwdriver to remove the battery door. Remove the battery tray and install six AA batteries. Reinstall the battery door. When powering up the DTT, make sure there is no torque wrench mounted in the drive. Push the power switch on the side to start the DTT. Now you will see three touchscreen buttons, Test, DTT Settings and Calibrate DTT. Starting at the bottom, the Calibrate DTT is used to calibrate the tester and is password protected and only accessible to qualified torque technicians. DTT Settings is used to set the date and time adjust the screen brightness, and calibrate the touchscreen. After setting the date, time, and brightness, exit and press the Test button. Now choose what type of torque tool you want to test. Click Style, Electronic, Dial, or Screwdriver. The Quick Check mode is used to do a single point check on a wrench to show the accuracy at that setting. We'll start with Click Style Torque Wrenches. After you press the Click Style button, you will see two choices, Quick Check and Audit. Let's first take a look at the Quick Check mode. Now you will see the test setup. You have three selections, Target Torque, Serial Number, and Operator ID. First press the Change button next to Target Torque. Now set the Target Torque value. If you make a mistake, press Clear to start over, or Backspace. Next, set the Units of Torque. The next item down is Serial Number. This is an optional feature if you want to download the data and have a record of the serial number. Press Change and enter the serial number of the wrench. Now you see Operator ID. This is an optional feature if you'd like to download the operator's ID number or name. A maximum of eight alphanumeric characters can be entered. Now press Test and it's ready to use. Before applying torque, make sure the target torque is set to the correct value and the correct units of torque. Also make sure your torque wrench is set to the same torque value and the same units of torque. Notice the moving pointer at the top of the screen. There are three color-coded zones. The yellow zone indicates the torque is too low. The green zone indicates the wrench is within tolerance of plus or minus 4% and the red zone indicates the torque is too high. When engaging the torque wrench into the tester, make sure the square drive is fully inserted or damage may occur. Be sure to apply force to the center of the grip and apply smooth force until you hear the click or feel the impulse movement. The font will also change color according to the final reading on the DTT. Once the reading is captured, you may press Store to store the data. The DTT automatically resets after each use. If the readings are out of tolerance, the wrench needs to be calibrated. Audit mode is used to do a thorough test of your wrench at three different checkpoints. Return to the main menu and press Test, then click Style. Now press Audit. The Audit mode automatically sets the target checkpoints to 20%, 60%, and 100% of the full scale of the torque wrench. You may test any size wrench that falls within the usable range of the DTT. You will be prompted to check the wrench three times at each set point. 
Follow the instructions on the screen to set the wrench. If you want to download the data, you must press store after every reading. If you attempt to import a torque wrench size in which 20% of the full scale falls below the minimum capacity of the tester, or 100% of the full scale is above the maximum capacity of the tester, you will see a red warning bar that says, Error, wrench size incorrect. For this example, we'll order a 150 foot-pound torque wrench. Enter 150 foot-pounds into the DTT. Next, enter the serial number and finally the operator ID or name, up to eight characters. The screen will prompt you to set the wrench to 30 foot-pounds. Now test the wrench three times, pressing store after each test. Next set the wrench to 90 foot-pounds and test the wrench three times and pressing store. Finally, set the wrench to 150 foot-pounds and test three times, storing the readings each time. The DTT will also test dial torque wrenches, electronic torque wrenches, and torque screwdrivers. Each test mode features the same quick check or audit mode as the click style. You can also use the DTT as a training device for click type torque wrenches. To use for training, select dial mode instead of click style. Dial mode utilizes peak hold, where the maximum applied torque instead of first peak, or where the wrench clicks. Using a click wrench in the dial or peak hold mode measures the accuracy of the operator instead of the accuracy of the torque wrench. For this demonstration, we'll set the wrench to 50 foot-pounds into the DTT, then use click mode to verify its accuracy. Then change the mode to dial mode and test again. Your results should be close to the same. If they are not, practice until you can achieve similar readings. Snap-on DTT models are available in a variety of torque ranges. Please refer to the Snap-on catalog or contact your Snap-on representative for more information. Thank you for watching. This has been a presentation of Snap-on.